Today, I will introduce you the American Bully Standard Size. First, let's talk about the differences between the standard size and other American Bully sizes. The American Bully breed comes in four recognized sizes, Standard, Classic, Pocket, and XL. Here are the differences between the standard size and the other three sizes. 1. Standard. The standard American Bully is the largest size, standing between 17 to 19 inches tall at the shoulder for males and 16 to 18 inches tall for females. They typically weigh between 70 to 120 pounds and have a muscular and athletic build. 2. Classic. The classic American Bully is slightly smaller than the standard, standing between 15 to 17 inches tall for males and 14 to 16 inches tall for females. They usually weigh between 50 to 70 pounds and have a more stocky, bulldog-like appearance. 3. Pocket The Pocket American Bully is a smaller version of the breed, standing between 14 to 17 inches tall at the shoulder for males and 13 to 16 inches tall for females. They typically weigh between 35 to 60 pounds and have a compact and muscular build. 4. XL The XL American Bully is the largest size, standing over 20 inches tall at the shoulder for males and over 19 inches tall for females. They can weigh over 120 pounds and have a more massive and intimidating appearance than the other sizes. In summary, the main differences between the standard American Bully and the other sizes are their height, weight, and build. The standard is the largest and most athletic, while the Classic, Pocket, and XL have different size and appearance characteristics. Before continuing with the video, we would like to tell you about our sponsor BullGift.com. On the site, there are special digital drawings, charcoal drawings, and a special oil painting structure, as well as mugs and magnets that you can stick to your cabinet. You can take advantage of the discounts by using the discount code that appears on the screen. Site address and discount code are also in the description. Now let's go back to our video. So who or what families is an American Bully standard suitable for, for example, can it adapt to apartment living? The American Bully Standard can adapt to different types of families and living situations, but it's important to keep in mind that this breed has some specific needs and requirements. Here are some factors to consider when determining whether the American Bully Standard is suitable for your family. 1. Space. Although the American Bully Standard can adapt to apartment living, it's important to provide enough space for exercise and play. This breed is energetic and requires daily exercise, so it's important to have access to a yard or nearby park. 2. Family Structure The American Bully Standard can do well in a variety of family structures, including those with children and other pets. However, it's important to socialize them early and provide proper training and supervision. 3. Time Commitment the American Bully Standard is a high-energy breed that requires a lot of attention and time from their owners. They thrive on human interaction and may develop behavior problems if left alone for long periods. 4. Breed-Specific Regulations Some cities and communities have breed-specific legislation that prohibits or restricts ownership of certain breeds, including the American Bully. It's important to research local laws and regulations before considering this breed. In summary, the American Bully Standard can be suitable for families in different living situations, but it's important to provide enough space, time, and attention to meet their needs. As with any breed, responsible ownership and training are essential for a happy and well-behaved pet. Another new question, let's say we decide to buy an American Bully Standard, how do I make sure I get a good pedigree and a good dog, can you help me with that? Yes, I can provide you with some tips on how to ensure you get a good pedigree and a healthy American Bully Standard dog. 1. Research Breeders It's important to do your research and find a reputable breeder who specializes in American Bully Standards. Look for breeders who are registered with reputable kennel clubs such as the American Bully Kennel Club, ABKC, or United Kennel Club, UKC. 2. Check Health Clearances Ask the breeder for health clearances and certificates that show the parents have been tested for common health problems such as hip dysplasia, heart disease, and eye disorders. This can help ensure that your puppy has a lower risk of developing these conditions. 3. 
Visit the breeder. It's always a good idea to visit the breeder in person to see the puppies and the parents. This can give you a better idea of their temperament, health, and living conditions. 4. Ask for references. Ask the breeder for references from previous puppy buyers. You can contact them and ask about their experience with the breeder and the puppy's health and behavior. 5. Avoid backyard breeders. Be cautious of breeders who don't have proper registration or health clearances and who may prioritize profit over the health and well-being of the puppies. 6. Trust your instincts. If something seems off or if the breeder isn't willing to provide you with information or answer your questions, it may be best to look elsewhere. In summary, finding a reputable breeder who specializes in American bully standards and who prioritizes health and temperament is crucial to getting a good pedigree and a healthy puppy. Do your research, ask for health clearances, and visit the breeder in person to make an informed decision. How should I feed this dog? You know every dog has its own diet, and can you talk a little bit about the hereditary diseases of this breed? Feeding an American Bully Standard a healthy and balanced diet is essential for their overall health and well-being. Here are some tips on how to feed your American Bully Standard. 1. Choose high-quality dog food. Look for dog food that contains high-quality protein sources such as meat, fish, or poultry as the first ingredient. Avoid dog foods that contain fillers, artificial preservatives, and byproducts. 2. Consider your dog's age and activity level. American Bully Standards have different nutritional requirements depending on their age, activity level, and overall health. Puppies need more calories and protein to support their growth, while adult dogs require a balanced diet to maintain their weight and energy levels. 3. Monitor portion sizes. Overfeeding can lead to obesity and other health problems. Follow the recommended portion sizes on the dog food packaging and adjust as needed based on your dog's weight, age, and activity level. 4. Avoid table scraps. Feeding table scraps or human food can cause digestive problems and may lead to obesity. Stick to a healthy and balanced dog food diet. Regarding hereditary diseases, American bully standards may be prone to certain health conditions. Some of the most common hereditary diseases that affect this breed include 1. Hip dysplasia. This is a hereditary condition that affects the hip joint and can cause pain, limping, and arthritis. 2. Skin allergies. Some American bully standards may be prone to skin allergies, which can cause itching, redness, and hair loss. 3. Eye problems. This breed may be prone to eye problems such as cataracts and cherry eye. 4. Heart disease. Some American bully standards may be prone to heart problems such as dilated cardiomyopathy. It's important to talk to your veterinarian about your American bully standards health and any potential health risks. Regular checkups and preventative care can help prevent and manage health problems. The American bully standard is an energetic breed that requires daily exercise to stay healthy and happy. Here are some exercise needs of this breed. 1. Daily walks. American Bully Standards should be taken on daily walks to provide mental stimulation and physical exercise. 2. Playtime. This breed loves to play, and interactive playtime with their owner can provide additional exercise and socialization. 3. Agility training. American Bully Standards are intelligent and can excel in agility training, which provides mental and physical exercise. 4. Swimming. Some American Bully Standards enjoy swimming, which is a great low-impact exercise that can also provide mental stimulation. Regarding their interactions with children and other pets, American Bully Standards can do well in families with children and other pets if they are socialized properly from a young age. They are generally friendly, loyal, and affectionate, and enjoy spending time with their human family. However, it's important to supervise interactions between American Bully Standards and children, as with any breed. This breed is energetic and can be boisterous, which may accidentally knock over small children. Additionally, it's important to teach children how to properly interact with dogs and avoid rough play or pulling on their tails or ears. American Bully Standards can also get along well with other pets if they are introduced properly and socialized from a young age. It's important to supervise interactions between dogs and other pets to ensure everyone is safe and comfortable. 
With proper training and socialization, American bully standards can be great family pets. Let's talk about prices a little bit. I'm going to get an American bully standard. Of course, as a pup, how much does it cost me? One question that comes to my mind is, what will this bully's monthly food and care costs be? The price of an American Bully Standard puppy can vary depending on several factors such as the breeder, location, bloodline, and demand for the breed. On average, you can expect to pay between $2,000 to $5,000 for an American Bully Standard puppy from a reputable breeder. In addition to the initial cost of the puppy, you should also consider the ongoing monthly expenses of owning an American Bully Standard. This breed requires high-quality dog food, regular veterinary checkups, grooming, and preventative care such as vaccinations, heartworm prevention, and flea and tick control. The monthly cost of food and care for an American Bully Standard can vary depending on the size and age of the dog, as well as the owner's preferences. On average, you can expect to spend between $100 to $150 per month on food and basic care for an American Bully Standard. However, if your dog requires additional veterinary care or grooming services, the cost may be higher. It's important to budget for the ongoing costs of owning an American Bully Standard to ensure that you can provide them with the proper care and nutrition they need to thrive. So what do I do if I don't have money? Is this a breed I can find in dog shelters? While it's less common to find an American Bully Standard in a dog shelter compared to some other breeds, it is possible to find them in shelters or through breed-specific rescue organizations. If you're looking to adopt an American Bully Standard, start by searching online for rescue organizations that specialize in this breed. You can also check with your local animal shelters or humane societies to see if they have any American Bully Standards available for adoption. When adopting a dog from a shelter or rescue organization, you will want to ensure that the dog is healthy and has been properly evaluated for any behavioral issues. Be prepared to fill out an adoption application and go through a screening process to ensure that you're a good match for the dog. Adopting a dog can be a great way to save money compared to buying a puppy from a breeder and you will be providing a loving home to a dog in need. Keep in mind, however, that even adoption comes with ongoing costs such as food, medical care, and grooming. Are there states or countries where American bully dogs are banned like pit bulls? Yes, there are some states and countries where American bully dogs are banned or restricted, similar to pit bulls. The regulations can vary depending on the region and the specific breed standards recognized in that location. In the United States, some cities and states have breed-specific legislation, BSL, that targets specific breeds, including American bully dogs. Some of these states and cities include Denver, Colorado, Miami-Dade County, Florida, Ontario, Canada, New Zealand, United Kingdom. It's important to research the local regulations and restrictions on dog ownership in your area, especially if you're considering owning a breed that may be subject to BSL. It's also important to note that breed-specific legislation has been controversial and has been shown to be ineffective in reducing dog bite incidents. It's important to focus on responsible dog ownership, socialization, and training, regardless of the breed of dog. There must be a reason why it was banned. Can you give me information or statistics about whether American bully dogs are involved in various acts of aggression? There are different reasons why some regions may have breed-specific legislation that targets certain breeds, including American bully dogs. The most common reason cited is concern over dog bite incidents and the potential for certain breeds to be involved in acts of aggression. However, it's important to note that breed-specific legislation has been controversial and often criticized by animal welfare organizations and experts in the field. Many studies have shown that breed-specific legislation is ineffective in reducing dog bite incidents and does not address the underlying causes of dog aggression. As for American bully dogs, like any breed, individual dogs may exhibit aggressive behavior. However, aggression is not a breed-specific trait, and many factors can contribute to a dog's behavior, including genetics, environment, socialization, and training. 
It's important to remember that American bully dogs, like all dogs, can make wonderful pets when raised and trained properly. Socialization, positive reinforcement training, and responsible ownership are key to ensuring that your American bully dog is well behaved and friendly with people and other animals. This video is getting a little long, so I'll cut it short by asking one last question. I decided to own an American bully, but there are five different classes and I'm a bit confused. On the one hand, I'm thinking about owning an American bully standard, but IT doesn't confuse me in an American bully pocket, I might even buy an American bully XL. How can you convince me of this? Ultimately, the decision of which class of American bully to own will depend on your personal preferences, lifestyle, and needs. Each class of American Bully has its own unique characteristics and traits, and it's important to do your research and consider which one would be the best fit for you and your family. Here are some general differences between the different classes of American Bully. American Bully Standard This is the original size of the American Bully breed and typically weighs between 70 to 120 pounds. They have a stocky, muscular build and are known for their strength and athletic ability. They are suitable for owners who have space for a larger dog and are willing to provide plenty of exercise and training. American Bully Pocket This is a smaller size of American Bully, typically weighing between 35 to 60 pounds. They have a compact, muscular build and are known for their energy and playfulness. They are suitable for owners who want a smaller dog that is still sturdy and muscular and who have a moderately active lifestyle. American Bully XL this is a larger size of American Bully, typically weighing between 80 to 150 pounds. They have a massive, muscular build and are known for their strength and power. They are suitable for owners who want a larger, imposing dog and who have space for a larger dog and are willing to provide plenty of exercise and training. It's important to note that each individual dog, regardless of size or class, has its own unique personality and temperament. When choosing a dog, it's important to meet the dog in person, interact with it, and get a sense of its temperament and behavior before making a decision. Ultimately, whether you choose an American Bully Standard, American Bully Pocket, or American Bully XL, it's important to provide plenty of exercise, training, socialization, and love to ensure that your dog is happy, healthy, and well-behaved. Thank you for watching the video until the end. See you in another video. Bye.